Therian Dolby. I'm the store manager in Newberry Comics in Northampton. Uh, Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm the store manager here at Modern Myths Comics and Games. We're here for a free comic book day. I am have always been a huge fan of comics, and I've been loving being the manager here. Um, we have tons of comics here. I was I don't remember all the rest of your questions. Um, we're celebrating free comic book day today. It is when all major publishers and indies get together and every first Saturday of May each year they release a bunch of limited comics. Sometimes it'll be like kind of one shots that tie into ongoing stories. Sometimes it'll be just sort of more fun books or overviews of universe or just kind of whatever potpourri type of thing they want to put together. But the idea is to sort of just generate interest in comic books the different universes that go on uh, currently. They sort of put together to interest people, like get them into you know either collecting or just make them more aware of sort of where the root of a lot of the different pop culture that they're interested in comes from. Um, okay. Alex, uh, I love comics because they are the epitome of show don't tell and I love reading. Um, I'm actually a high school English teacher and um, today I got some free comics of uh, Bob's Burgers. Uh, Defend Comics, and uh, some nice Northampton uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles! Yeah, I grew up in the 90s, so have to be a Turtles fan. <laughs> um, and I'm also getting a Superman for All Seasons issue, so it should be, should be cool. I love that story. Um, and yeah, I just, I love comics. I love spreading the word about comics. So we're from Pioneer Valley Roller Derby. My name is Kat, or Necomancer. And I'm Sarah, or Scaracuda. Our league skated in the parade. Ah, excellent. Pioneer but, Valley Roller Derby. Uh, are you two members of the LGBTQ community yourselves? I am an ally. Ah, ally, excellent. <laughs> so tell me, why are you an ally? Why am I an ally? Because I think that love is love. Ah. Uh, also, we just started a new all-gender team. It's called United Front, and their first game is going to be May 16th. An all-gender team? All gender team. What does that mean? It is beyond co-ed. It's not based on a binary system. Ah. It's welcome welcome to all skaters, no matter how they identify. So, did you come here? Uh, let's just get over here. They're trying to move. And <laughs> free comic book day? We did! We did. got free comics! <laughs> Every yes. year, we come after the parade. Excellent. What did you get? Could you show me, please? I got this. Lumberjanes. Oh, Lumberjanes. And Bongo Free For All. Ah, and Simpson. Gave, and she gave me her yep. Bob's Burger. <laughs> yep. And I've got Attack on Titan and Avatar. And, uh, what else? Avengers. Avengers Assemble. It was a super easy decision this year. <laughs> that, yeah, hey, did you hear that there's going to Marvel's coming out with the A Force, which is an all female Avengers team? I thought, yes, I did hear a little bit about that. It's really exciting. Yeah, so, so why is that exciting for you? Why? Because I am female, and so when I was growing up, I wanted there to be more female superheroes. Yes. Let's put out more role models out there. Yes. Yeah, so, so do you think uh, having an all-female Avengers team, yeah, do you think that counts as reverse sexism at all? Have you gotten that, uh, have you heard that kind of comment I, at all? I think it helps to have more females, especially when the entire comic is going to be based mostly on females instead of like a mixture, it's just all females, that's great. There's not <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> yeah, yes, uh, that is very too true. Certainly does level the playing field. Uh, so, what got you to went to comic books? My own personal experience, I grew up reading a handful of different Marvel titles in the 90s, and I'm, I'm un overwhelmed that, uh, that the Infinity Gauntlet's going to come back into the Avengers movies. I think that's super cool. That was my favorite arc growing up. Oh, so I first got into comics when I was a kid by reading Spider-Man and Silver Surfer, and then as I grew up, I just have always loved comics from uh, reading Sandman, uh, now I'm reading things like Saga and Rat Queens. I love the juxtaposition of great writing and great images and we have some great art, art here and it's just fantastic. I've been a fan all my whole life. I've always loved superheroes as a kid. I love that they can have these amazing abilities and yet they still struggle with everyday human lives. Yep. 
Are you fans of Miss Marvel or Spider Man? Yes. Or the Miles Morales Spider Man? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of the whole convergence uh, thing that's happening in the Marvel Universe? I think it's really exciting. I think there's um, all kinds of story possibilities, and so it's kind of cool to see what they come up with. So, what do comic books have to do with being uh, an English teacher? I mean, isn't what some English teachers consider reading comic books heresy in any way? Uh, some do. Um, some, some say that they just like reading books uh, and that comics are for kids, but um, comics are uh, a multiple access point medium. So um, comics are a good way to have students that don't speak English um, fluently and help them learn how to read at a more um, consistent uh, frequency. Um, and also uh, kids that might be somewhat apprehensive about reading in general. Um, you know, and it, it's weird because they kind of trick you into, you know, it's a comic so it's not, so, you know, it doesn't seem as literary, but they're just as literary, if not more so sometimes, um, as a regular novel. Um, so it, they're, they're on the up and up. There are lots of high schools that are um, incorporating them into their curriculum. Um, Northampton High School, Amherst Regional High School. Um, so yeah, it's on the up and up. Uh, uh, do you think uh, comic books uh, will ever make their way to the MCAS English exam? Um, I think so. You know, especially with books like Persepolis that are taught um, in a lot of schools um, because they're, they're graphic memoirs um, and students can actually use anything that they've read uh, on the MCAS exam. Um, so the questions on the MCAS aren't specific. Um, they just ask you to recall something literary. So as long as you can talk about it in the same way that you can talk about Night by Ali Weidel, um, you know, and you can because it's it's a it's a you know difficult book about a young person you know during a, a difficult time. So, so yeah, I think so. Um, it's pretty. It can be pretty tough being a woman in the comic book world. As a queer woman, uh, as a manager of a store, I'm lucky to be in Northampton because it's a really supportive community here. We, I run a queer comic discussion group once a month. Um, so while maybe in other parts of the country, being a woman and a comic book fan is not normal, and this store, more than half of our subscribers are women. And there's a lot of really great women written and illustrated titles that we have out here. Well, no, they're just, you know, the focus is usually on the guy characters. Uh, yes, that's true. And when they market toys, there are more toys for the guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, uh, there's a petition on change.org right now uh, asking Disney to release uh, more Black Widow toys. Yes, absolutely, and why, why shouldn't they? Yeah, I mean, but yeah, Black Widow's pretty cool, I think. Why are there no superhero toys in the girls' uh, aisle? Exactly. Or why do there have to be sides at all? <laughs> <laughs> well, why do superhero toys only have to be for boys? And why are they only marketed towards boys? Uh, because, uh, because the girls are supposed to get rescued by the superheroes, apparently. <laughs> right, that's wrong. And that's what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, why can't, why are there boy toys and girl toys? Like, there shouldn't be a difference. They should just play whatever, right. they, whatever they want. Uh, do you think that uh, boys and girls tend to be f interested in different things in general? Uh, it's possible, but I'm sure a large part of that is due to marketing strategies. <laughs> they learn over time that there are these societal rules that they pick up, and then they're like, oh, I guess I'm a girl, so I'm supposed to like dolls. <laughs> so who knows what would happen if we just left that all open to enjoy it. A lot of it is hidden, and you don't really realize it's there, so you really have to look for it. That's why it's so important to do things like have an all-female superhero cast for a comic book. Yeah. It's great to see that there's such a resurgence in comic culture just in general. Underbury Comics started carrying just comic books in 1978, and we diversified, started carrying music, and just pop culture stuff in general. But comic books are still sort of at the core of our interest. You know, we're excited when people get excited about stuff, you know, when they really, you know, when they have a lot of enthusiasm to share about whatever their passion is. That's what makes my job really fun. Wow, glad to hear it. Getting ready to yeah, leave. Yeah, we have and to go. Okay, sorry. Uh, sorry. That's okay, but thank you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good.
<laughs> uh, all right, great. Uh, thank you for your time. I know I ran over.